We're about halfway through the third season of Only Murders in the Building. We've just seen the action move from the apartment building to a theater, where Paul Rudd's Ben Gilroy has, you guessed it, bitten the big one mysteriously. So far, the show has been pretty clever about what clues it's given us, drip feeding us just enough to keep the momentum going. However, here's a big one that you might have overlooked. Throughout the first half of the season, the big clue we have from the killer is them finding a rather nasty note written on Ben's mirror in his green room. Upon discovering a sign-in sheet within Allison's office, Mabel comes to the realization that the group has successfully obtained handwriting samples from the entire Death Rattle Dazzle cast, and that these samples can now be employed for a comparative analysis with the writing found on the mirror. However, we may already know whose handwriting it is, as when Tobert wrote Ben's doctor's name on the murder board, his writing almost perfectly matched the writing on the mirror, something that Mabel doesn't seem to have noticed as she was a little too busy smooching him. Everyone should definitely look at Tobert with a much more critical eye, for a few reasons. First, we know that he can lie convincingly. His story about not rescuing elephants in Botswana almost had us and Mabel convinced. Secondly, he's been in Ben Gilroy's life for a while, and yet hasn't been investigated yet. And finally, he is clearly a true crime fanatic, as he has alluded to quite a few times already. All in all, there definitely seems to be plenty pushing the narrative thread that it's actually Taubert behind Ben's murder. But it's only murders in the building, so you never know how it might actually turn out.